What's going on guys? How to be here is January 9th. It is about 9:12 in the morning right now. It's uh AGQ's been going on and I've I stayed up really late trying to watch the Mega Man relay last night and I'm really really tired. Um I got up cleaned myself up a little bit, but anywho, that's not the important thing. What we have right now today is a Pokemon Direct coming in live here very soon. Uh this is just before it's supposed to air, but I guess I'll just say real quick that, man, I hope it's not what I think it might be, but, um, yeah, no, it's, it's only supposed to be 20 minutes long. I heard that's supposed to be like, uh, it should be on home and sleep for the most part, which would make sense for the 20 minute time frame since we really don't know. A whole lot about either other than that sleep is supposed to work while you sleep duh but we don't really know like the ramifications of what happens with the game so anywho um yeah like i said 20 minutes might be enough time to go over everything which i hope it's not the case because goddamn, do i really want to hear something about their next main game however there's two ways that that can go. Now, I won't say which one is which yet, but um, I hope that one of them isn't announced. But, anywho, let's just skip right on over and we'll watch this thing. There we go. Welcome to the Pokemon Direct. Hello. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. In today's broadcast, I'd like to touch on two topics. Let's get started with the first topic. Have a look at the following footage. Mystery Dungeon. Still never played any of them, though I kind of do want to. Just to see what it's like. Oh, it's a complete remake. Ugh. Hey. Mm. Mm. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. I'm indifferent to the uh, the art style. Might have to grow on me a little bit. It's like a water water painting style. Make it all sprout on. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Mm. Might be my excuse to finally try it. It's been about 15 years since Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team were released for the Nintendo DS and Game Boy Advance systems in Japan. But now they will gain a new life as a Nintendo Switch title. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX will be released March 6, 2020. What's more, we'll release a demo version on Nintendo eShop available cool. later today. A way to try. You'll be able to carry over your save data to the full version of the game once purchased, so please take this opportunity to get a sample of the fun. Now, for the other topic, I think we'll ask Game Freak to share it with you. Hmm. Mr. Masuda, Mr. Omori, it's all yours. Hello everyone, I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Hello, and I'm Omori, also from Game Freak. We hope everyone has been finding something to enjoy in the latest be DLC. The Pokemon series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, since their release last November. Our goal is always to deliver lively new adventures that delight Pokemon trainers around the world. We did our best to fill these titles with fun activities so that our players could have a fulfilling <laughs> the fill. experience. Boy. And the gallery region is a vast one. Game's good, but it's we definitely not filled to the brim. New discoveries and fun encounters along your adventure. We've been thinking about how much we'd like it if everyone's Pokemon adventures could go on even longer. 
with more to dig into and new discoveries to explore. We've been working on plans for some time, in fact. This is why we at Game Freak are now developing the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. Downloadable expansions for the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games that will be available for purchase from Nintendo eShop. Until now, we've sometimes released new titles set in the same region as previous games, such as Pokemon Platinum version or Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. What are you saying? This expansion pass will be different from those games. You'll be able to set out on new adventures using the save data you're already playing with. Uh -huh. We're in the thick of development now, but we've prepared some footage for you so you'll be able to at least get a feeling for what new experiences await you. Elaborate, please. Please have a look. My heart is like ready to burst out here any second, depending on what might happen. It looks like the, um... <laughs> Dude. Oh. Oh, dude. Ew. The Isle of Armor. Okay. Not quite what I was thinking, but it's still along the same lines. Better dead. The Reggies are back. I kind of called it that they were. The DLC could be a thing. New Reggies! Oh, dude! Oh, you're not going to show that off, of course. They're going all out, boys! <laughs> okay, it's kind of repeating now. There we go, this is different. Crown Tundra. Part 1, Part 2. I don't know why I repeated. What did you think of this first look? 
the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and the Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass will be composed of the Isle of Armor, planned to be released June, June 2020, and the Crown Tundra, planned to be released in Fall 2020. If you buy the Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, you'll be able to enjoy both as they're released. Each part offers a different adventure, where you'll be able to visit unseen areas of the Galar region and meet new people and Pokemon that live there. There are two versions of the Expansion Pass, one for Pokemon Sword and one for Pokemon Shield. Different Pokemon will appear in the different versions, and you'll also run into some different people and places. We're hoping okay, players no. can continue with the classic Pokemon experience of trading with one another and working together. Now, without further ado, let's have the director himself present more information on the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Mr. Tani? Hello! I'm Tani from Game Brief. I'm working as the director for the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. The Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra are in development as we speak. So today, we'd like to show off some designs and concept art to help introduce you to these new areas. Your adventures in Galar are getting even bigger. First, let us introduce the Isle of Armor, which focuses on the theme of growth. Take a look. The next destination in your adventure is a giant island off the shores of the Gala region known as the Isle of Armor. This island is full of beautiful nature. You'll find beaches, bogs, forests, caves, and dunes. And of course, you'll find Pokemon that you couldn't previously find in Galar dwelling there too. There's a dojo for Pokemon battles on this island. And you'll take up an apprenticeship under the Pokemon trainer who runs it. This is Mustard, who will become your mentor. He's also the mentor of Champion Leon, who you probably know quite well. In fact, the Mustard stupid has names. occupied the seat of Champion himself in the past. You'll also encounter new rivals among your fellow apprentices. When playing with the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass, you'll be training with Clara, who is a Poison-type user. When playing with the Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, you will be training with Avery, who is a Psychic-type user. Damn it. They're both training hard so they can someday have a gym and stadium to call their own. Next, we'd like to introduce the legendary Pokemon that will be central to the I don't really like any of their designs, but I'd rather choose Clara. Cub Fu. It's a fighting type Pokemon that strives Brand to become new Pokemon, with dude. single minded dedication. As you progress through your training, Mustard will entrust you with this Pokemon. Once you complete your training together with Cub Fu, it will be able to evolve into Urshifu. Urshifu is a Pokemon with two distinct styles. It's basically like a there is toxicity. single strike style, a fighting and dark type style that delivers a single strike at blinding speed. There is also Rapid Strike Style, a fighting and water type style that focuses on unleashing a torrent of rapid strikes. Weird, but okay. What's more, it's been revealed that Urshifu has a Gigantamax form. Each style will have a different appearance, as well as a different okay. G-Max move. You'll be able to evolve your Cub Fu into an I kind of thought that they were going to be um, two styles, single strike style Sassy and Zamazenta for some reason, but your adventure. whatever, that works. Urshifu is a powerful Pokemon with a brand new ability, and it also has a new move for each of its two styles. Once you've completed your training, bring it with you for some online battles or official competitions. Yeah. We also want to talk about Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Intellion. Final evolutions of the first three Pokemon you team up with in the Gala region. During your adventure in the Isle of Armor, these special partners in your teams will be able to. Oh, never mind. Pass. Okay, I kind of get you what it's doing. You can look forward to seeing their new forms and new G Max moves. And as you can see here, we've got even more in the works to make sure your journey is as smooth and fun oh, as afterwards? possible. Oh, Cool. There are new fashion items. Okay. We'll and you'll even be able to obtain new looks for your bike. Cool. We hope you'll look forward to the new experiences coming in the Isle of Armor.
I wonder how you're going to be able to get the Gigantamax forms of the starters, though. The second area, which has a theme of exploration. I'm going to show you the information we have at the moment. This expansion is set in the snow-swept realm of the Crown Tundra. Take a look for yourself at the beautiful scenery of this shining, silvery landscape. As it turns out, the Isle of Armor isn't the only uncharted area waiting for you all in the Gala region. In this frigid area, with its towering winter mountains, people live in small communities that support and rely on each other. Much like on the Isle of Armor, you'll be able to find Pokémon that didn't appear in the Gala region before. Fitting right in with this area's theme of exploration, there will be plenty for you to uncover. You might find a strange temple where you least expect it, or maybe spy a mysterious giant tree growing in a place it doesn't seem to belong. A certain person will appoint you as the leader of their exploration team in the Crown Tundra. Dad. You can gear up for adventure, and then head out to explore blizzard-swept fields, and even deep inside Pokémon dens, which you could only previously get a glimpse of during max raid battles. Next, we'd like to introduce Calyrex, the legendary Pokémon you'll discover during your adventure. Legends say this Pokémon once ruled over a part of Galar that included the Crown Tundra. It's characterized by its graceful, regal movements. Get ready to experience a never-before-told story about the mysteries of Calyrex. The Crown Tundra will have a new form of co-op play as well. This will allow you and friends to enter and explore Pokémon dens that exist underground in the Crown Tundra. Deep inside the dens, you may see legendary Pokémon from past games Dynamaxing before your eyes. You'll be able to meet and make allies of all kinds of legendary Pokémon during your adventures in the Crown Tundra, including ones you'll be able to catch through this co-op play. It also appears that some brand new legendary Pokémon are also waiting to be found somewhere in this land. And combined with the Isle of Armor, dozens of new clothing items will be added. Plus there will be new battles waiting for you to challenge once you complete your entire game, including the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. We can't go into the details of everything, but we're working on planning and developing new ways to enjoy Pokémon even as we speak. The Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra areas themselves are actually two key examples of the things we're working on. Both areas are in fact seamless maps, much like the wild area you can already experience in the Gala region, where players are able to move around freely and control the camera. Of course, you'll be able to connect with other trainers and play with them too. There will be Pokémon dens as well, and you'll be able to engage in max raid battles against Pokémon that haven't previously appeared in the Gala region. There's more to see and do on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra than there was even in the Wild Area. We'll bring you more information about them in future news reports, so please stay tuned. What did you think? Not bad. We at Game Freak are all working hard to bring you new content. So you can spend more time having fun in the Galar region. We hope you're as excited as we are for what's to come. Thank you, Mr. Tani. On the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra, you'll see some familiar Pokémon that didn't appear in the Galar region before. There will be more than 200 Pokémon species that appear in these areas, and you can add to your team, including the legendary Pokémon mentioned before. Additionally, we'll be distributing free updates for Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield that will coincide with the releases of the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. These updates will allow people who don't have the Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield expansion pass to obtain the Pokémon that appear on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra through other means, such as trading. Players will also be able to bring I was about to say, you'd almost have to do it anyways, because of home. Service Pokemon home as long as the Pokémon appear in the Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield expansion packs. Pokémon Home is planned to launch in February 2020. We intend to release even more details before then, so please wait just a little bit longer. Finally, we have some more news for our Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield players. Starting today, it seems like you're more likely to run into Gigantamax Colossal, 
Gigantamax Lapras, and Gigantamax Flapple or Gigantamax Appleton in max raid battles in the wild. Finally. Face these powerful Pokemon with your friends. There will also be a software update going live available later today. Once you've received the update, head to Wedgehurst Station. In Pokemon Sword, you'll encounter Clara, while in Pokemon Shield, you'll run into Avery. You'll also encounter a Galarian Slowpoke that's wandered in from the Isle of Armor. You can try to catch it and add it to your team. Galarian Slowpoke can evolve into Galarian Slowbro if you use an item that can be found on the Isle of Armor, or into Galarian Slowking if you use an item that can be found in the Crown Tundra. Okay. Don't forget to check it out. What did you think? Today, we've finally been able to show you some of what we at Game Freak are hoping to achieve going forward. We hope we've been able to get you excited for the continuing adventures waiting for you in the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Each part offers a different adventure. We'll do our best to fill it to the brim with adventures like you've never experienced before. Whether you're just starting with Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, or you've done everything there is to do, we'll do our best to develop something that everyone can enjoy. Stay tuned for more updates in the future! My thanks to everyone from Game Freak. The Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, which contains both the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra, will be available for pre-purchase on Nintendo eShop later today. i buy for both though. Fuck. You'll also be able to access Nintendo... Unreal. Unreal. God damn, I'm gonna have to... Find that now. Because it repeated on me. I'm not even sure how I'm going to edit that properly. But anyways. No, it repeated on me. During the introduction for um, for the Crown Tundra. It did like a loop. And I lost about a good minute or so. And that's why I can't watch the rest of that. Well, I think I could probably just rewind. But... Can I rewind? I don't even know. No, it was from the stream itself. God damn it. Nintendo. Pokemon Game Freak. What are you doing? Ah. Okay, so. Without seeing what the end of that had to show. Um... Mystery Dungeon was neat. Um, it will definitely give me an excuse to finally try it. Um, now that I have the proper income to afford that kind of game. And now that it's actually had proper um, display, I guess. Uh, the DLC, I called it. Again, I, I everyone freaking out about the National Dex thing. like Stuff like that can be fixed through DLC. And they're giving us more than just software updates we're getting. Like actual expansions they were wording it weird i thought that for some reason that it was going to be like revisit to other past regions not just like galarian versions of of locations but um no that's it's looking pretty neat um story stuff not quite sure what to say about that but anywho uh no it looks all looks all looks pretty good to me i don't know Anywho, I'll have to wait till June. June seems like a long time away for something like this to be developing if they were already working on it. Anyways, I guess that's all I really got to say on it other than that. It, it was very self-explanatory. So, anywho, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll be keeping up to date with this as it goes. And look forward to more reaction very videos on that. I can hardly say that. Anywho, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you all. Later.